I have to give an update on the Drive Savers um, drama. Cool. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I, I I do I do have to do that. So last week, basically, what I said was, hey, look, I haven't talked to Jessa, who claimed that Drive Savers took credit for her uh, innovative workaround with an Apple speaker IC that allowed a frozen phone to be temporarily booted, all the data to be recovered, and then restored to functionality through a reset. Uh, she claimed that Drive Savers took credit in our sponsored video for her solution to that problem. And I basically said, okay, so I'm finding out about this now. I haven't spoken with Jessa. Um, but obviously that's a pretty serious allegation. Uh, here's what she said. Yeah. Here's what Drive Saver said. Um, you know, right now it's he said, she said. So I, I can't really take a, take a position here. Um, what I did do in the week since the last WAN show is reach out to Jessa. She actually posted on our forum and I basically said like, hey, look, um, the, yeah, these are these are pretty serious allegations, and um, it looks like you've got a pretty compelling story here. But what I need in order to take real action on this is is some kind of proof um, that what you say is true and what they say is not. So what she's done is she's created a video about sort of the the points um, of Drive Saver's position on this that she disagrees with. She's also created a post on the forum, which we're going to have linked at the bottom of the video. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, I don't have it there now. So I'm going to add it right now, and I'm going to see if that actually updates. I'm going to have it right above where the timestamps are going to be. There you go. Uh, I've got that on YouTube, and oop, no, I don't have an easy way to update it on Floatplane right now, but I'll, I'll add it later. I'll add it later. No, I won't because there's no Wancho archive. doesn't matter. The point is uh, there's a link on YouTube to her post over on the forum where basically... In a nutshell, I don't have any, there's no smoking gun, but I would say that there is a lot of circumstantial evidence, if you kind of get what I mean. So there's no, there's no silver bullet, there's no like, hey, this is the text message that they sent to me admitting that they stole my technique. But there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of claims that Drive Savers has made that don't seem to quite add up with respect to their in-house capabilities compared to the capabilities of third-party contractors that they use. And it just kind of leads us to believe that, um, you know, there, there may be something to Jess's story. So as for what I'm going to do, um, so far we haven't heard from Drive Savers with any definitive proof one way or the other. And we haven't heard from Jessa with any definitive proof one way or the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the video up, but we're going to do something that we are able to do under extremely um, uh, sort of exceptional circumstances. And we are going to uh, replace the video that is there with one that has an edit in it during the time when I'm talking about this technique that basically has text at the bottom that says Jessa Jones uh, from iha iPad Rehab says that this is actually her technique. And we're going to have a link in the video description to where you can read through, um, you know, her statement about, you know, why, uh, why you should believe her side of the story. And then what we're going to do moving forward is honestly, I just can't deal with this kind of, uh, he said, she said nonsense. Um, my life is a drama free zone. So if I can't, um, if I can't operate under an assumption that sponsors and members of the community are all able to be straight with me, uh, then we're just not going to work with any data recovery companies moving forward at all. Um, you know, I just, I have no way of validating who's telling, fair. yeah, I, I have no way of validating just a hundred percent unequivocally who is telling me the truth. And this is one of those things that I just cannot afford to have our company dragged through the mud over because someone is being disingenuous. So that's, um, that's my commitment. I've already told that to uh, Jessa and, um, I've asked, um, I've asked the business team to pass that along to drive savers. Um, I've already, I told Jessa actually that I might make one exception for that, um, or two exceptions, I guess. I told her that I would be open to doing a collab 
So not promoting her business or or drive or device recovery, you know, or anything like that, but just YouTuber to YouTuber. I'd love to do a collab, like maybe just fixing something together, um, kind of like what we did with Lewis Rossman in the past. And then if Deep yeah. Spar ever came back to us and wanted to do another video, I think we would work with Deep Spar again, just because there was there was zero drama. Um, they're fantastic. They're so cool. Um, I love what they do. Um, and the the feedback from our community was overwhelmingly positive for the tool that we were promoting last time we worked with them. Uh, it was a tool that basically used like um, a cloud connection where because you can only like you can only test the characteristics of so many failing hard drives. A hard drive has to fail in order for you to uh, in order for you to perform analytics on it and you know observe its behavior. So what DeepSpar built was this tool that uh, you can use to take like a uh, like to record the characteristics of the failing drive that you have or the failed drive that you have and compare it to other drives that were failing or failed and help you determine what the problem is. And then it would add that data to their collective data on their servers so that other people could benefit from it, making it like kind of a... Uh, 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 a tool that gets better and better the more people in the data recovery community use it. It was like super cool idea. And apparently it ended up selling really well. Our feedback from our community was really good. So we, we would work with them again. But beyond that, we're just we're just not going to do it anymore. I don't need that drama in my life. It feels almost like, uh, I, I don't even remember their names, but those two brothers that just like make fake drama on YouTube constantly. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say their names. I heard if you say that in too much, they appear. They have three times in the mirror. That way, that that the other thing too is that as long as I don't mention any names, then uh, I have plausible deniability for it being any two brothers. So, yeah, uh, two true. two brothers, and there's grandmas, and they fight them, and there's a ah, meteor coming towards the earth. <laughs> two two brothers. Yeah, should be should be fine. YouTuber drama is probably much more interesting to YouTubers than to LTT viewers, uh, says Last Digit of Pi. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yep. 